Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to model a paper wrap using Blender cloth simulation. This tutorial is for Blender intermediate users. So if you are a beginner user, follow some basic tutorials before watching this. Let's get started. Create a polygon cylinder. Delete the top and the bottom faces. Duplicate all the vertices and scale them a little bit. Delete these vertices. Merge the vertices. Select these vertices and delete them. Add a solidify modifier. Use a small value for the thickness. Check even thickness option. Select outer edges. Go to the item tab. Set mean crease value to 1. Add a subdivision modifier. Move the subdivision surface modifier at the top of the solidify modifier. Align the top vertices and the bottom vertices. Set mean crease value to 1 for this edge too. Select all the vertices and scale them along the z-axis. Add some edge loops to increase the geometry of the model. Add another polygon cylinder with 200 vertices. Scaled up the object a little bit. Select top and the bottom faces and inset them. Delete the faces. Select the bottom and the top edge loop. Apply bridge. Select all the vertices and scale them down along the z-axis. Make sure your second cylinder is larger than the first cylinder. Apply scale for both cylinders. Move the cylinder up. Duplicate it and move it down. Duplicate it and scale it down. Make sure the last cylinder is smaller than the first cylinder. Select and delete the top faces. Select this edge loop and move it up. Select this edge loop and make a face. Scale this edge loop up a little bit. Move this face along the z-axis. Extrude the top vertices and merge them at the center. Go to time frame 1 and insert keyframes to the scale. Go to frame 50 and set 0.3 for scale Y and scale X. Insert keyframes. Select the third cylinder. Go to time frame 1 and insert keyframes to the scale. The third cylinder should be smaller than this edge loop. Go to frame 25. Set 0.8 for the scale Y and scale X. Insert keyframes. Insert keyframes to location as well. Go to frame 50. Move the cylinder up. Insert keyframes for location. Add collisions for these objects. Increase the subdivision level value of the first cylinder. Select the first cylinder and add cloth. Choose rubber preset. Increase the quality steps. Under cache, set end value to 50. Under collisions, increase the quality value. Check the soft collisions. Set small values for distance under both object and self collisions. Set gravity to zero. 
Hit bake. After you complete the baking process, play the animation. As you can see the result is not what we expected. Looks like the first cylinder is shorter than I thought. Let's correct that. Delete the bake. Extrude the bottom vertices downward. Select these vertices and set the mean crease value to zero. Select these vertices and set the mean crease value to 1. Apply the subdivision surface modifier and the solidify modifier. Go to the top view and select these vertices. Apply bridge edge loops. Delete the faces only. Go to the shape section and check sewing. Set 10 for max sewing force. Set 0.01 .01 for the shrinking factor. Press bake. Play the animation. I think this is good for me. If you are not satisfied with the result, play with the cloth settings. Try adjusting the keyframes and scale and location values of the collision objects. Hide these objects. Apply Shade Smooth. Add a curve. Under the bevel section, increase the depth value as per your preference. Create a thread by extruding the vertices. Increase the resolution preview U value if needed. Convert the curve to a mesh. Extrude these vertices and merge them at the center. Turn on Auto Smooth and set 60 for the Auto Smooth value. Select the main object and choose a proper value for Auto Smooth, because there are some sharp edges that the model should have. Select these edge loops and mark sharp. Now we have finished the modeling part. Create a render scene with proper lights and render it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.